We're going to go through a series of lunges now. I'm going to go through the basics first of all and add a progression on each time around we go. If you get stuck and can't do a progression, that's not a problem. Regress and do the circuit that we did do beforehand instead. So, we're going to start off with this right leg. It'll be left to you, so it's up to you if you want to mirror image me or listen to my uh, instructions. My multitasking abilities have somewhat gone away um, since not teaching aerobics anymore. Right, right hand level with the right shoulder. And what we're going to do is step this right leg back. So we're in a stretch position, we can feel our hip, our greater toe is pushing you down into the floor here. So we're activating that posterior chain and squeezing our bum cheek, looking ahead. You're going to dip down as far as what you can with keeping your heel of your front leg down onto the floor. For some of you that might be more than me, for some of you it might be less. So the load should feel in the front leg and the stretch should feel in the back leg. And then lift it up and take it even further. So pushing down into that stick, keeping nice and stable, chest facing ahead, not looking down at your foot. That's good. And come back up again. Give the legs a little bit of a shake. Then move over onto the other side. So again, pushing down into that stick, nice straight arm, step back, so you can feel the stretch into the hip area, and you can feel the stretch coming down that lap. Chest up, facing forwards, and sink down, keeping that heel down onto the floor as well as your toes. You don't want your toes to be moving around like I'm doing now. Lift that back leg up and come down even further. If you're feeling the stretch through the front calf, that's absolutely fine as well. Don't worry about that. Squeeze this back glute just to get that extra bit of activation through there. And the relaxation through the hip. And stand back up and shake the legs out. Swapping back to the other side now. Let me show you this from a side view. I'm going to step back to a lunge position. Our knee can hover or our knee can relax down. Okay, we'll keep the knee relaxed down for now. You want to bring your body up the stick as far as you can and try and get your body in line, leaving the knee behind. Deep, nice deep breathing. Allow your shoulders and your waist and your hip to sink down into that floor. And then we're going to open this side up, still looking forwards. So you might be able to feel that through the chest, a little bit of activation at the hip and at the glute. Keeping nice and stable through your torso. Then further back if you can. Take the stick back to centre and press through your back leg to lift yourself up and step yourself back in again. Now we're going to switch sides. Show you from the front this time. Okay, so stick in line with you. Hand up somewhere on top. Yours might be at the top. This is a six foot stick, so it is quite a big one. Step back, lunge back, and again, you can either hold it or allow that knee to come down. As long as you're still feeling the stretch through the hip area here, you're squeezing your bottom and your toes are curled under. Lift your chest high and allow your body to sink down, keeping pushing that stick down onto the mat or onto a step, or wherever you are. Allow the arm to come out. Again, feeling the stretch through the pec, but we're not compensating anywhere with our body. You might want to even drive yourself further forward, again, making sure that that front heel stays onto the floor here. Take a nice deep breath. 
and extend even further if you can. Bring the stick back to centre and again push through those toes up and step yourself back in. Give yourself a little bit of a shake out. Coming back to the other leg now. So we're ideally not going to take our knee all the way down to the floor. So we're going to keep that strength and hold our positions throughout the same exercises. If you do want to put your knee down to the floor, that's absolutely fine. So your left leg in line with the right stick, about hip width apart. Take your right leg back to extension and drop down the stick. Like you're going through an elevator, not coming down the stairs. So you're holding nice and strong through your body, pressing through the stick, open up that chain. Keep holding it, you might be a bit shaky, but that's fine, if you can hold it, that's fantastic. And open up again, still facing forwards. And back round, and stand up. Swap sides. So again, that stick is meeting the right arch, left foot behind, and step that back, drop down into that lunge position. Keep nice and strong through the core, chin parallel to the floor, not looking down. Open up through the arm. Take a nice deep breath in and out and allow that stick to come back further. Come back to centre, stand up and give your legs a shake. 